Well, Women in Ministry is actually a companion piece to the book Women Deacons, but what Women in Ministry uh, presents is three of my academic essays about the the emerging questions about the diaconate. You know, what happened in Vatican II with discussions, uh, not about the, the, the diaconate, but also about women in the diaconate. What happens in the, um, the other churches uh, with, with whom uh, Rome has actually uh, got, got uh, agreements relative to uh, orders and sacraments? And then, then what's the future? What has Benedict said? You know, and I think each of these three areas are very pressing uh, anyway in our church. You know, we need to know um, what, what the, the research is, what, what other people, what Vatican II said, what, what do other churches say, and also what the Holy Father says. And in my research, all of these point to the restoration of the female diaconate in the Catholic Church. No one else actually studies women deacons. Okay? Um, people talk about women's ordination, but my research is about the restoration of the traditional church practice of ordaining women as deacons. You see, in history, we have a lot of information. We have literary evidence, we have uh, liturgical evidence, we have epigraphical evidence. We actually have tombstones of people, women who were deacons in the church. The um, what, what has, has happened in the church, I'd say in the past 40 years, is that there's been a, uh, a, a consolidation of the discussion. So everybody talks about women's ordination as one, uh, one topic, but in my research it's really two topics. And I don't, uh, I don't talk about priesthood, uh, I talk about the diaconate, and I think I prove and have proved in my, in my research that women have been ordained as deacons, that women are ordained as deacons in other churches, mm -hmm. and women can be ordained as deacons uh, in, in the Catholic Church. I think, I think what makes a difference in my research is that I answer the objections of Rome. Uh, it was very clear in Vatican II that bishops were asking to return women in the Catholic Church, in the Roman Catholic Church specifically, mm -hmm. to the diaconate. It's, it's very clear in my research that the history of other churches, particularly the, the Orthodox churches, uh, proves that women have been ordained, sacramentally ordained, to the major order of deacon. Uh, and that, indeed, women in some of those churches are ordained to this day. In the Armenian Church, women are ordained as, as, as deacons. In the Orthodox Church of Greece, uh, women can be ordained as deacons. There was a, a vote of the Holy Synod in 2004 saying this could be restored. His All Holiness Bartholomew, the Patriarch of Constantinople, has said he sees no objection to restoring this throughout all of Orthodoxy. And then the third essay is about, uh, uh, basically about uh, parsing a speech that Benedict XVI made um, several years ago to the bishops of Rome, to the priests of Rome. He's the bishop of Rome, so he's speaking to his priests. And one of the priests said, how, how can we get women more involved in governance and ministry? Now, Benedict said, yes, that's the question, governance and ministry. And, and <clears throat> in Benedict's mind and in the formal mind of the Curia, Governance and ministry are only available to clerics, to people who are ordained. And as I went through what Benedict said, uh, I realized actually that he was talking about women deacons.